A friend of mine called me up and asked me if our family wanted to participate and go build homes for homeless in Tijuana. I love working at the soup kitchen and volunteering, so we jumped up and said, yeah, absolutely, we'll go. Well, it's hard to describe. It's really impossible to describe with words. There's nothing like going down. Because we had such a good time and such a great experience, we started taking leaders from our company down to experience this. This and the idea came about that we might do it on a larger scale and invite our uh, associates, which is our employees, from across the country to come and join uh, on a volunteer basis and they'd give up two days of, of their weekend and they'd get two paid days and come down to Mexico and build houses for homeless people. Hey, I was really excited to do it as a company because it, it just opens up uh, anybody who goes, it, it just opens up their eyes to what poverty is like, but in a, in a really good, healthy way, because they get to be a part of, of making someone's life so much better and giving them a real, real future and a hope uh, that it, it impacts their children, their ability to go to school, it impacts their, their general health, uh, and just in so many positive ways. In a short period of time, it just made a huge impact. Just the feeling that you get, um, it is absolutely amazing just to come out and, and do this I mean you always know that there's people out there that need this help but you're you see it on TV but when you get here it's so surreal Homes of Hope was started to meet a need in uh, Mexico there's a uh, hundred million people approximately 50% of the population of Mexico is considered impoverished 50% of those are in poverty meaning they don't have enough income to adequately take care of their own families. Cuando era niño, eh, pues, yo estaba, yo boxeaba, representaba a mi ciudad y a mi estado como en Juegos Olímpicos Nacionales. Eh, creí que ese iba a ser mi trabajo, ser un atleta, un deportista, y, pero por, no sé, las, las, las cosas cambian y el tiempo y la vida y no funcionó y, y como me dedicaba nada más a eso, a ser atleta, deportista, pues dejé los estudios para dedicarme de lleno y cuando no se me realizó, pues bueno, ya no supe qué, qué otra cosa trabajar y pues ha sido un poco más difícil. Tenemos 13 años pagando renta y, y pues la verdad tuvimos que hacer un sacrificio de, de venirnos a vivir a, a casa de mi mamá para poder ahorrar algún dinero para poder agarrar un terreno. Creímos que nosotros íbamos a poder construir pero no, pues no hemos podido la verdad. Es muy caro pagar la mensualidad del terreno y yo gano muy poco, tengo dos bebés. Eh, hay que pagar leche, pañales, la comida es muy cara aquí en México y no me alcanza. Y para construir sale muy caro, es muy caro el material. Y el niño se me iban a estar enfermando. Por eso estamos aquí en casa de, de mi mamá esperando que nos ayude. What we give to the families in one weekend would take them seven to ten years to replicate on their own depending on their economic level. When a group of people come all the way from Canada and actually demonstrate, hey, we love you, we care about you, we want to be here, we want to bless you, we want to help you, that has a tremendous spiritual impact on the family's life. I know. 
me siento bien contenta, bien feliz. No lo puedo creer que venga gente de, de tan lejos a, a venir a ayudar a la gente que necesita. Este, es algo increíble, es algo, es algo muy, muy bonito que solamente, ay no, no sé, solamente Dios lo puede hacer, solamente Dios. We have so many people that come down and, and want to build a house and they come with the, such a beautiful attitude of servanthood that they want to go and they want to bless the families that they're building for. But what they don't realize is that they leave feeling so full of joy and so blessed themselves. We have our dedication and they see how moved the families are, that they're receiving something that they really could have never gotten on their own. And I've seen grown men just be brought to tears by the emotion of of that great gift that we're giving over to them. I'm so happy that I was able to come and meet you and be a part of this. And I just want you to remember that your home is a home that love built. You know, you walk around the office and People say, oh, you're going for your first time, and it's so cool, it's going to change you. And you sort of, you, you say, oh, yeah, great. And you, it's just words, and you go, yeah, you're sure, sure, it's going to be fantastic, and so on. But until you get here, honest to God, I just, I really had no idea. Um, it's, it's actually overwhelming in some ways. And it's, it's overwhelming in the simplicity of what we're doing, but, but the huge impact, such a simple act by a few can can serve. For, for the two days that we're working here, and we're working hard and we're doing some really cool stuff, but in, in no way compares to what I feel like I've gotten back. Like I feel like I've cheated somehow and I got something so cool for, for so little from my perspective. I have so much and for me to come here for two days, I, I just really feel, um, yeah, I feel like I'm in on a big secret here that other people should know about. The, the most important thing about uh, a company is, is people. And, and great people have great leaders and great servants. And, and we believe to be a great leader, you have to be a great servant. And, and we love the servant model. And, and when we serve one another, uh, miracles and amazing things happen. And that, that really is teamwork at its best. And, um, teamwork is, is part of our core values and we try to live it every day and we do amazing things with teamwork that we could never do uh, as individuals. I've worked for a few companies in my life, um, as many of us have, and, and I've been on a variety of team, bu team building um, exercises and, and so on, and, and some are good and some are not so good. I mean, this is. I mean, if one were to just view this as strictly a team building exercise, which it's not, it's far, far more than that, obviously, but if, if one were to assess it on those terms, it's it, the chasm between this and the other team building exercises I've been on is just, it's so wide. I mean, this is just, you know, to throw everybody in a pile from all walks of our company and the variety of employees that we have is so broad from, you know, senior management executive to the to the important people that look after and clean our buildings and for everybody to be pulled together into one group and to a single common goal, that house. I mean, there's nothing abstract really about what we're doing. We're building that house. I mean, it's abstract in the sense that of, of what it means in the long term for the families in the community, but the goal to build this house and for everybody to pull together and, uh, and achieve that goal with such efficiency and such fervor and such joy um, honestly, is not what I, I mean, it's not what I was expecting. I, I just didn't think it would be so cohesive. And you know, you have your rank or your position or your city when you're in this environment really kind of evaporates and, and it just doesn't matter who you are or what you do. We are a group here to build this house for this family and, uh, and that's what we're doing and that's what we've done and, and so it's, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's very hard to describe, very, very cool. Um, I will go back much different than I came, I would say, that's safe to say. It's probably a bit of a cliche, but I would say it's true in my case. There's a lot of poor here, and they're all waiting. 
can you come and help the poor?